Good morning, home brewers. Coffee. First of the day. Mm. That's good. Anyway, so I've been out for a wonder this morning and picked up some blackberries for this new brewing experiment we're doing, which is collecting and cultivating wild yeast to, funny enough, ferment things into alcohol. I've also got some sourdough bread because that's what I was originally going to be doing. So enjoy the pictures and uh, see you in a bit. So what we're going to be doing is making some wild yeast for making some of our wild brews. So it's a fairly simple process. Uh, you're going to need, funny enough, an outdoor space. You can just do it on the windowsill, but with all this flowering stuff and grass and you're going to get a really nice, hopefully, a really nice combination of wild yeasts. So, to the bag. And in here is just a clean jar, which I've sterilized, and I put in a uh, just a normal spoonful of sugar, and this is just to collect, hopefully, some wild yeast. So, uh, bugs are going to be everywhere, but oh well, never mind. This is... Ooh, this is wild fermentation, so, or spontaneous. So I'm just gonna leave this off for about 20 minutes. And while I'm also doing that, I've got this, because I've got a hankering for sourdough bread. So, funny enough, I just mixed up a watery sourdough, which I put in there, and that will be for my sourdough, and uh, Victorian sourdough crumpets, yummy. And this is gonna be for some uh, bench tests for wild yeast. Awesome. So I'm going to leave it here for 20 minutes and just uh, sit down and enjoy the grass. Oh, here we are at the 20 minute mark. Obviously no obvious signs of anything. So this should be quite fun. It's either going to be uh, yeast or vinegar. Who knows? <laughs> and uh, a sourdough, which does look like it's separating. Mmm, yummy. We'll get this stuff back to the house. Three days later, Nothing. Nothing at all. Whereas the sourdough has life and activity in it. Ooh. So funny enough, it is a sourdough. So it may not be a complete waste. We could use this, but I'd rather cultivate some different yeast. So what I've done is I went out this morning and picked a few of the earliest of the season's blackberries. Again. These should be covered in wild yeast, uh, these blackberries, funny enough, because sugar's natural yeast. So what we're going to do is throw these in and see if we can't jumpstart our wild yeast. So I'm not washing them, mainly because I want to try and cultivate whatever it is that's around. So, so I've added in the blackberries, and I haven't washed them or anything. And we're going to see if we can cultivate the wild yeast by using the blackberries as our sort of yeast starter. So this is going to now just stay out the way, stay nice and warm, and hopefully we should have some wild yeast there to go with the sourdough.